Welcome back, everyone. We hope that you're having a great day today, and we are glad to be back here with you to talk about what does it mean to have SAS endurance and to just be able to keep on going when things get difficult. Now, yesterday, if you remember, we introduced you to a character in the Bible um, named Amos, a person, although a character, like he's a real person. <laughs> And we talked a little bit about the journey of Amos and who he is, where he comes from, what God is asking him to do, and the snags along the way that he ran into as he was going out and doing what was asked of him. And so after hitting these snags, or while hitting these snags, we could say that endurance played a huge role in his journey. Endurance played a huge role in him carrying out what he was asked to do. And it was not easy. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that today. Thanks, Candice. Um, so if you weren't here yesterday, I'm Amy, and that was Candice who was just sharing with you. And so we've looked at Amos, who is a prophet. Now, important things to know, in biblical times, if you were a prophet, the penalty of your prophecy not coming true was death. And we don't talk about that a whole lot because it feels like, well, how could a prophecy come true? And we usually think prophecy something way off in the future. But there was a really distinct role in the, the ancients' minds of how prophecy worked. And so this was incredibly risky business. We talked about Amos wasn't trained. He was a shepherd. And trying to figure out, he had been enduring and he had already been experiencing the oppression, the effects of oppression, the struggles there. And so Amos would already be able to talk about a court system that was corrupt, businesses that were corrupt, people who had sexual immorality and struggles, and they were just in general um, kind of abusing the powers they had. And there was even religious corruption. So Amos is personally experiencing that and he's not exactly in a powerful position. But what we see is Amos, in a time of a trial, finding his calling. So Amos, while he is there in Tekoa, it's like, I'm sure he had to have been thinking, are, are you sure, God? But as he journeys, and, and part of that, Candace and I were talking, and this idea of journeying is part of the endurance. Mm -hmm. It means that it isn't a, a one shot of a hashtag. It isn't simply going through something one time, but it's recognizing that there's something systemic and something bigger that's taking place. We all have places where we have bad days. That's not what Amos is talking about. This is beyond a bad day. This is ongoing struggles, snags, difficulties, and oppression. And so Amos endures as he journeys. And we get to be reminded through his story that endurance is not a one-stop shop it's not a i decide to endure today and this is going to carry me all the way through my journey but instead that endurance is daily it is moment by moment it is traveling through each snag and doing it with integrity doing it with knowledge um, of our own abilities to keep going and ultimately doing it because we know that we are walking with God and we are not alone and that God will give to us what we need as we journey through with endurance yeah. and with strength. There's one more thing from the text that we want to say about endurance because this, and this is a story I know, but I read it kind of through fresh eyes this time. So in Amos chapter seven, so this is, you know, moving toward the end of the book. It's only nine chapters long. Like we said, we want you to be reading. But in chapter seven, beginning in verse 10, it talks about Amaziah, the priest. Now you would think this is a religious leader. This is somebody who was important at the time. You would think you'd be going, Amos, thank you for speaking out. Thank you for taking that role and calling out oppression, calling out those who are doing bad things in God's name. You would think that he would be grateful. And instead, here's what it says. In verse 12, Amaziah sent orders to Amos, get out of here, you prophet. <laughs> I mean, it couldn't be more direct. Right. Um, he goes on and he says, go back to the land of Judah and earn your living 
earn your living by prophesying there. He's talking about you've come up north and you're, you're trying to tell us that we're not okay. Go get a job. Go back and do, stay in your lane. Right. That's exactly what he said. He was like, stay in your lane. I couldn't imagine trying to be someone who, who thinks I'm doing something really great, knowing that God asked me to do it. And then people in leadership looking at me and being like, get out of here. Well, it goes on and it says, don't bother us with, prof with your prophecy here in Bethel. Hey, we, we don't need you. We don't need you to be, be calling us out. It says, this is the king's sanctuary. We already have the status quo and we're comfortable with it. And it's a national place of worship. Mm. Y'all, if there was ever a passage <laughs> that kind of pushes us toward being able to um, pay attention to what's going on and the struggle for endurance mm -hmm. because Amos wasn't trying to be disrespectful of leaders and we are very very um, privileged in many ways within this Episcopal tradition you've heard from um, Bishop Buddy last week who was denouncing um, using St. John's and using the Bible as a prop we've heard mm -hmm. from Bishop Redall also denouncing and saying we cannot just be about religious words but we must actually be living out our faith so i want to be careful this is not us saying hey by the way the people around you um they're not living it out in fact we have a community of leaders Absolutely. who are speaking out and still there is room for more and you get to be part of that as we endure through struggles through difficulties. And I think the last thing that I would want to say, and then I'll let Candace wrap it up, is while what's happening in the world is certainly on our minds, we also know that some of you, apart from what's happening in the world, have your own struggles, have your own places where you are seeking to endure and to find a little spunk, to find a little sass, and to find a way through. And so may you also know that in whatever place you're struggling, that there is endurance and that God is with you. And there are always going to be people who are going to tell you, here's why you can't, but we have the creator of the universe constantly coming alongside saying, it may take longer than you want, but here's why you can. Absolutely. And so that is our prayer for you today, that you be reminded that you have got what it takes, that you are not in this walk alone, and that as you are enduring, you're being strengthened and you are taking on the journey that God has placed before you. Blessings, we love you and we will see you tomorrow. Make sure that you're continuing to read through Amos as we move on into our next phase. Bye. Bye.